Well, you want to start with the EL stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's show our projects. Okay. This is what's great about show and tell. It can always be us. Well, this is, <laughs> yeah, so I was going to show the, the EL wire extension, yeah. which is this part. Oh, look, we got a person. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, I was about to get all blinky, but now I don't have to. Hello. Happy holidays. There's oh, we got Chris and Jeremy. Hi. Okay. Here we go. Check this out. All right. It's a party now. Party. All right. Wait. Not a party yet. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, no, we got Blinky. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's, uh, it's a full house now. All right. Okay. We're going to start going through these really quick because we have uh, a bit of time. So, uh, Chris. Oh, wait. We got Nicholas Lewis is coming in here. Everyone. Nope. Nobody has parties to go to. Phil. Everybody comes late, but they're dressed to kill. Okay. Um, we'll start with Jeremy because he's the first on the list on my little uh, display here. Jeremy, what do you... Uh, oh, by the way, welcome to the show and tell everybody. Happy New Year's Yay. Eve. Yeah. Hi, guys. Um, I have... Uh, I got a hold of a, a chip, um, an NSG EQ7, which is basically... It takes a, an audio spectrum and it breaks it down uh, into the different bands. And so what that does is uh, I'm not feeding my audio back, so you can't hear me or you can't visualize this when I'm talking, and I don't know how well that's coming through, but it's yeah, labeled. Yeah, I see. The, uh, oh, nice. Hello. Oh, wow, neat. So anyway, this is using uh, the little 1.8-inch uh, uh, TFT, and then uh, it also has a being powered by this uh, cell phone battery that I, I kind of stole from an old phone. And if you, if you do this, it also has LED output, so you can hook it up to transistors or relays wow. or whatnot to control... Uh, different lights, and if you talk, you can see LEDs yeah. light up for the different levels. Yay! Party! Party! Woo! Okay, I could do this all night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much it. It's just that uh, an LM386. Uh, it'll also it has a microphone built into it, so now it's picking up uh, the ambient noise in my office, and you can see the you can see that the, the lights going and stuff cool. like that. So so that, that's that, pretty much it. I liked how not only um, did we have you um, write the rotation code for that display, but then you like did something with that rotation. Because now it's you can uh, draw to it rotated text and everything. Yes. That's some, that's some nice uh, draw rect action. Draw circles also. Yes, and thank you for the help too. Yeah, cool. Yeah, for the folks that are tuning in, uh, Jeremy's been uh, doing a little bit of work with us. Uh, we have a bunch of cool Arduino library related things, and. Uh, so I can't. I can't get to all of it. Yeah, and this is one of the cool examples because you rotated the display. Yeah, and yeah, now you that's could what do. Because it's not as cool. It wouldn't look as cool if it was smaller. Um, reverse the other way. It wouldn't no, be such a no, good it's analyzer. Really long. But, yeah. It's it's funny you say that because I actually started the project that way. And then I was like, what am I doing? And so and then I just centered the rotation and it instantly became better. Yeah. So. That's super cool. cool. Twice as good. Twice as good. Yes. Awesome. That's super. Thanks, cool. guys. All right. Sweet. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. All right. And let's see, we've got, oh, we've got all sorts of people here tonight. Okay. Wow. Next up, Justin. You always have fun LED projects. This looks like te Tetris is playing itself in the background. Is that true? Actually, that's just a, uh, a Christmas tree. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but. Uh, it looks like it's playing a, a Tetris on its own. I like, I, but I like that it's a Christmas tree, too. Ah, yeah, that's the <laughs> snow coming down. Uh, that's, uh but what really what I want to show is this uh, doomsday clock counting down the new year. So uh, nice. So this is actually three uh, clock three junior boards put together. They're talking to each other over I to C interface, and these two guys are slaves. Listen to the seconds uh, tick off. So uh, we're just uh, well we're uh, we're making our our peace with the world because uh, doomsday looks like it's about. Mm -hmm. Two hours and 22 minutes away. That's also this, how long this show is going to be. So you can also <laughs> call it the New Year's Eve Ask the Engineer countdown clock so you can enjoy every second. That's true. There's that too. If you, okay. if you don't think it's going to be doomsday. But also I wanted to show, uh, I'm uh, uh, calling in from the Wyloom headquarters. This is uh, my buddy Shama here. Hello. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> and... Uh, Here's uh, our uh, CNC uh, router that we're trying to get to work. Nice. And uh, he's got a really big basement, so uh, cool. we've got a lot of stuff over here. This is, that looks like a, a, the start of excellent hacker space. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it is a, it's a great uh, start of a hacker space, and we're learning as we go. 
Excellent. Excellent. Well, thanks for showing the project. I hope the world doesn't end. I think it's going to be Zoom's day because tomorrow's going to be a big day. <laughs> hey, uh, maybe. Uh, also, I want to thank you guys for getting the word out on the um, the innovation grant. We uh, we had a couple. Of, we had a lot of great projects. So uh, thanks for uh, thanks for helping us out with that. Oh, that's no problem at all. Sweet. All right, let's keep moving along here. We got a lot of folks that are tuning. All right, Chris, you probably have an update with your awesome WriterNet project. It's just an update, yeah. Um, I've completed the 100% uh, completed the XP uh, network protocol. I've got it working with all the routers. Um, I tried to make a small sample of it that's closer up um, that you can see. If I can hold it steady enough. But um, I used uh, I actually used one of the Adafruit Proto Shields and made a little shield on top of the uh, on oh, top of one of the RiderNet awesome. routers. Um, yeah, that's, that's a perfect use of the uh, Perma Proto boards. Look at that. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. It's blinky. I mean, like there is a lot of blinking going on there. Yeah, these are the uh, in in in, a, in and out uh, packets uh, for the XP router. It can push about uh, f about um, five packets per second now uh, with 100% reliability. So I'm really happy with it, and I'll be posting it to the net tonight. There will probably be a lot more ways it could be efficient or made efficient because I'm not that fantastic of a coder, but it, uh, I look forward to what people think and what people can use it for, and uh, I'll post pictures of it in the field once the routers are out there with this in it. That's excellent. And uh, if, I, if I recall correctly, it looks like Make is going to be working with you to do an article about all this, right? Yeah, that, I really look forward to that. I'm going to work on work on that over the rest of the holiday here and, and posting that up. Yeah, my personal goal is to have um, electronics and horses on the cover of Make. But <laughs> it's just a dream. It'll happen. Yeah. Thank you for all your help and support this year. It's been wonderful. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you so much. I look forward to 2012 as you continually evolve uh, this system. It's, it's, it's fantastic to watch. It's a great example um, for Lemoore to show people or talk about because it uses almost everything in our store. Yep, I'm, I'm guilty <laughs> of that. <laughs> All right. We're happy gonna New Year. Along. Okay, Happy New Year, Chris. Thank you. Okay, Len, thanks for waiting. What do you got to show us? Hello? Hi. I uh, have a... I made this a while ago. It's a um, capa simple capacitance meter. And it's in... It's a, an Arduino. It's actually a Diavolino in uh, the Adafruit Protect box. It's a nice case. And <laughs> yeah, and um, it uh, it's a capacitance meter, and it measures the capacitance using a 555 timer. Mm. Um, yeah, you set it up as an oscillator, and uh, if you know the resistant, the value of the resistor in the oscillator, and you don't know the capacitor, you can calculate it by measuring the frequency. And um, I don't know, it's not terribly accurate. I didn't even ca bother calibrating it, but um, when there is at least one <laughs> way it's better than my, I've got a... Um, Xtech meter, and I sometimes yeah. I've used this to to measure capacitance, and it's sometimes it, it doesn't work, or it's just really slow when you measure a large, like a fairly large value, like forty-seven microfarads or something. Mm -hmm. um, what I found I could do is um, because there's a, such a wide range of values that you have to measure for capacitance, the um, the frequency of the five 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 oscillator will vary a lot, so. Sometimes it's more accurate. I'm using, you know, an Arduino, Arduino code to measure the frequency of an oscillator. There's a couple. I have it hooked up to an interrupt, and either you can count the number of interrupts per second to get a frequency, but that doesn't work if it's really slow, like two per second, or you can count the number of microseconds in one period, but that doesn't work if it's really fast, like a megahertz or something. So I do mm. both. Mm. I try one way and then the other if it, if I didn't get a good answer. So I, I just I plugged in a uh, a little capacitor. I'll hold it up. I just plugged in a little capacitor. I don't know if you can read I guess you can't. Yeah, yeah you can, yeah, can see it. So if I press the button, it'll read it, and it'll come oh, up. That's fast. So, yeah, and that's, um, okay, it says 47.78. It actually, last time I did it, it said 46 point something, so it's, I guess it's not terribly precise, but uh, it's, it's a nominally a 47 microfarad capacitor. I'm going to try a smaller yeah. one. It doesn't work. In our work. shop, we have... Um, we have this cool little device. It's an LED tester that we just pop the LEDs in and press the button, and it lights up. So we we know which the which LEDs are um, correct and that they they work for something. And, like it's kind of neat. There's um, such a need for like test equipment. And if oh that's neat. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's a um uh I guess that's a point one microfarad. Is that what it says? 
Yeah, 0.093, so it's 0.1 microfarad roughly. And, um, you know, I, can, I mean, these capacitors are like 10% or 20% tolerant, so I can't tell if it's off because of my meter or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it says F on the screen, which means it was measuring the frequency in uh, um, hertz cycles in, in one second or half a second, maybe, I forget. And if I did, when I did the, um, the 47 microfarads, it said T, which was means it was actually measuring the time in microseconds for one period because it, it tried the F method for like half a second and it got a really low number that wasn't very accurate. Whoops. Oh, and that didn't plug it in right, so it's giving a 260 picofarad. It doesn't work down to the picofarad values, but it works okay for 0.1 microfarad up to 100 microfarads. Gotcha. And were you, and were you in a situation where you needed to measure a bunch? Or I didn't, this no, like I, didn't, I didn't need to. It's just that I didn't like the way that my meter was working that it was it was not very it was kind of slow and and sometimes didn't seem to work right for large values just because it's um yeah no it's, it's not working right on this on this one i think i i'm not putting it in right you, um, the, my, my sock is not very good but anyway what if you um had you know there's an rc you know resonator basically in the 555 what if you change the resistance by connecting it through an arduino pin and then you pull it high or float it depending on what you want to do. So you could have like five resistors and then you turn on whichever to have a full range. That might be better. I think the problem with the, the low range is more the construction of the thing than anything else. It's on mm -hmm. a perf board and so I'm not going to be able to get, um, you know, it's going to have it's going to have some sort of probably not very predictable capacitance in the board and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. You know, it's not it's not wired up to, you know, instrument quality. <laughs> yeah, well, I had it's, it's good enough, right? I mean, capacitors, they're, you know, it's yes. rare to get a capacitor that's better than 5% anyways. Like, you yeah, know yeah really and the, the, other th yeah, the other thing is, I mean, and I can't read the damn things, like the, the little, <laughs> these yeah. little ceramics. <laughs> yeah, those are, um, we have those little tiny ones for the Minty Boost, yeah. and we put in extra because they get lost, um, <laughs> so we put in extra for the customers. Yeah, it's like the most frequently misplaced um, part. <laughs> I had to hack in, uh, I don't know if you can see there, I had to sort of hack the holes with a nibbler there because this is a Diavolino that doesn't have a USB. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just to cut out. Kind of it has a 9-volt thing over there. To, put a, just like I put an, yeah, put an off switch yeah, on it. Okay, great. So this is, that's an Adafruit uh, display, of course. Nice. Oh, great. I like, I, I'm liking this trend of more, like, test equipment being made because, you know, if the, the uh, multimeter manufacturers aren't going to, they're probably not going to change their design. Like mm -hmm. X Tech, it's a great multimeter, but they're probably not. They're probably not going to speed it up and make it any different, or like have a little thing to test stuff. Like it's probably not going to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. That'd be kind of neat to have a, a little breakout area on uh, a multimeter where you could uh, do testing, or even like the LED. I mean, it has the capability yeah. to do that. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah. A little, a little, bre a little breadboard area on it. Anyways, there's a new product coming. Cool. All right. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Thanks, okay. Guys. Well, thank you, Len. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> thank you, Justin. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks for doing this special New Year's Eve uh, show and tell. Um, we're going to um, shut down here and get ready for Ask an Engineer, which starts in about 10 minutes. Thank you awesome. so much, everyone. And uh, if we don't see you, have a uh, happy, New Year. Happy, New happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Take care. All right. And if this works, I'm going to hit end broadcast, and it's going to upload it automatically to YouTube. You think it's going to work? Yeah, this is the first time everything's worked out perfectly. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good luck, little video. Yeah. <laughs>